considerations on the development of critical thinking in the learning virtual environment. Critical thinking as a necessary skill to students is identified as one of the high relevant skills for education in all learning levels. The present study focuses on digital textual style called Mural, which integrates available interaction tools into the learning virtual environment or LVE through which asynchronous discussions based on the text were assessed, exchanged between teachers and students of the second and third year of high school in a public school of Recife, Pernambuco, Brazil. The referred analysis allowed the identification of some strategies which contribute to the development of critical thinking. One of the most widely used methods to develop higher order reasoning skills is questioning. Debating is another didactic strategy used to construct knowledge through interactions and negotiations of meanings between teachers and students and among students. The purpose of this study was to verify how asynchronous interactions occasionally supported situations structuring to promote the development of critical thinking and to identify the platform limitations to support the progress of this skill. To fulfill the purpose, it was necessary to understand reality based on different perspectives with a unique method. This focused attention allows methodological procedures and study outcomes to be compatible and consistent with the purposes proposed because data triangulation enables the identification of different levels of depth in analyzing a phenomenon, as indicated by Santos et al. The research study was performed in a public high school located in Recife, Pernambuco, Brazil. LVE Redo was the virtual environment used in this investigation to collect data. With the purpose of identifying strategies and episodes used by teachers in asynchronous discussions based on text posted on the LVU, LVE Redo Mural, a content analysis was performed from Bardens. The most significant episodes related to the development of critical thinking were selected. With the purpose of overcoming and complementing information produced in the content analysis, non-structured episodic interviews with stimulus were done. For that, three high school teachers who teach students from the second and third years were selected. These teachers were selected according to episodes that the teachers generated with regard to critical thinking. The categories identified in the episodes that we analyzed relate to different didactic strategies, including debating, simulation, and analyses of videos and or movies, all of them circumscribed in the critical pedagogy. Redo through the mural in figure one, presents options that favor discussions based on the text between teachers and students. Participants of such interactions when using textual style need time to think and evaluate before sending their contributions. Redo enables the students to undertake responsibilities for the ideas they express because the platform prevents users from removing, for instance, delete or deselect. The learning environment attributes a communication power to the teacher and generates a communication limitation to the students since they usually write in the mural after the teacher requests for them to make an entry. Methodological practices used by teachers do not have a full backing in the redo learning environment. There is a need for offering technological guidance which allows the support of learning services capable of breaking the technical limitations and process of the current platforms. Our recommendations. A, fun a functionality that in the event incorporated into Redo could cause a reinforcement to the dynamics of cooperation occurring in this learning environment. According to Errol Maas et al, this device aims to create cohesive subgroups based on mutual interest whenever there is an existing collection of knowledge. Redo should emphasize greater customization and access a range of digital tools increasingly more comprehensive. As Lawrence indicates, this panorama allows traditional information systems to evolve to what is known as a digital ecosystem. To solve the necessity of monitoring and differentiated feedbacks to, to students during the acquisition of knowledge, learning environments such as Redo could count on, for instance, tools such as the named dynamic scaffolds. Such possibility is understood as a technological alternative that provides an interactive method to assess students' progress and provide feedback in response to different needs. Conclusions. By critically analyzing LVE features, we could note that this environment positively impacts the student's qualification, creating educational spaces for consideration and promoting a sense of responsibility for the ideas expressed through text messages. However, its structure still limits the development of other aspects of critical thinking, such as their autonomy and difficulty with working more cohesively with their colleagues and teachers, ignoring their learning style and rhythm. Thank you.